Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Vitamin C Brewing. This is their Sour Pipe Project Shave Ice. And this comes to me by the way of my beer brother Greg. Thank you so much Greg. Uh, I have been lucky enough to get some Vitamin C beers now here. Uh, I didn't see this one the last time I was across town. so. Uh, Thanks to Greg for sending it to me. And uh, this is a six percenter, it's not a big beer. Uh, and it does have the date, but their machine writes so damn tiny. Uh, looks like it's January 13th, 22. So we're into May. So this one's probably past its shelf life. Uh, I don't know what they're giving this particular one since it's a sour esque style beer uh, <coughs> 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 and they're in Massachusetts so they're getting a pretty big footprint now uh, that I have seen them down here so I don't know how far out they're going from the brewery now uh, the picture here uh, looks like a, a very tasty beer and I have had some very very tasty beers from this brewery so uh, and Greg Royce they said he got at the brewery these fruited sours are gaining in popularity he found them to be hit or miss with me some are really good others not so uh, guys I've been having problems with my left eye watering and everything else I feel like there's a hair in it this is about the third or fourth day in a row that it's been bugging me sucks being old or getting old or getting older but it's better than the alternative of not getting older and everybody knows what that means so uh, uh, I have to just have to deal with it but with the hard to read and hard to stay focused when your eyes watering like crazy so I hope I don't have to end up going to the damn doctor but it's what it is so uh, once again Greg thanks for sending this to me like I said I did not see this particular one the last time I was at the beer so, but it could have been there and I just missed it. Uh, it's hard to pick out every one or buy every one when you go in there and there's thousands of beers. So. Uh, don't have any IBUs. It says our take on Hawaiian shave ice with mango, pineapple, passion fruit, guava, ice cream, and marshmallow. Contains a milk derivative. Does not contain lactose. So I don't know what other milk derivative they could use that the yeast would not eat up, ferment out. So to get some sweetness there. So. I'm not aware of anything else other than lactose, but there probably is. So let's get it open. We got the ABB and we got the uh, date, so that's about probably all we're going to get. Very hazy, very cloudy. Uh, I don't know what to expect here, guys. Uh, whether it's going to be how, fr how fruity sour it is, and a lot of those have a lot of pulpish, it settles and does crazy thing. This one doesn't seem like it's going crazy like those the French beer did. But the bubbles right there are very reminiscent of that. Those great big bubbles. But these are, are don't seem like they're staying around. It's got that milky cloudy characteristic to the to the head there but it didn't stick around like the Uva French beers did I mean that head was just there forever all the way down the bottom and then when you took your last swallow you got that clump of head there again so uh, no staying power on this particular one but it does look like some kind of juice a lot of pulpiness in it no light I mean it's super cloudy could be even considered a New England style sour or fruited beer but most of those sours and fruited are, are pr pretty heavy looking so uh, not a light thin beer usually but looks pretty good though hope it is let's find out 
Good to know it would be good. Yep. It's got that same distinct sour esque aroma. I mean, it smells very similar to the Uther Finch beers. Um, and I think those were where, it started, where I started getting into how different that smoothie style beer was and their typical sours were. And I mean, I'm, I'm getting the mango and the pineapple and the orange. And it does have a sweetness, vanilla marshmallow esque aroma. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Thank you, sir. Very well done. Very tasty. Definitely getting the mango, the pineapple, passion fruit. I mean, the vanilla marshmallow esque. And the sweetness has an ice cream esque taste to it. So, very tasty. Very, very tasty. Like I said, it's a little on the thick side. You can already see just a little bit of, of that milky lacing get left on the glass. And I got a feeling uh, this one is going to destroy the inside of the glass. It'll probably have a thick, heavy coating on it when I come back for the final chug. So, uh, big bubbles on that one. I mean, but I don't think it's going to hang around, guys. But we're going to go sip on it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. It didn't destroy the glass as much as I thought it was probably going to, but it did leave very heavy uh, film on the inside of the glass there. Uh, it's almost like a tropical drink guys uh, I mean it's it's got that tartness uh, being a, a sour beer uh, and it's very tasty uh, these uh, shaved ice or, or uh, sloshies and they have a bunch of different names uh, that they're going by now uh, I've got a feeling a lot of the younger crowd is going to really really and have like this style of beer that's why it's becoming so popular uh, some of the older cats probably not so much but everybody's different guys I mean what you might think somebody might like might surprise you uh, I mean I imagine a lot of people might think I'm if they don't know me and see me out somewhere they offer me a Budweiser and, and, and that's cool but uh, uh, I'm one of the one of the old guys that is into craft beers and have been for a while now. So with that being said, guys, this is a very, very tasty beer. Everything that they're claiming in the description, I am getting. So, very easy drinking. It's not overly tart to me. It's there, but it's, it's manageable to me now. I mean, uh, when I first started getting into this, it took me a long time before I could wrap my arms around this. and I, I kind of enjoy them now, as long as they're not over the top tart or, or sour. Uh, this one is not. This is very, very nice to drink. Final show. I may have missed it in the beginning of the video. Got the fuse in today and got the I uh, got it put in the humidor and that fixed everything so both sides are up and running again so cigars are where they should be as far as temperature and humidity uh, guys I think it's a, for what it, they say it is it is what they say it is uh, this is a style that a, a lot of people are seem to be flocking to because a lot of breweries are producing these sours now so, uh, and especially these, I don't know, when you can call sloshy or smoothie, almost like a, it's almost like a tropical drink. It's uh, very, very easy to drink and not over the top tart or, or sour. So, guys, to me, it's a solid day. ABV's on there, dates on, on there. Uh, it may have tasted a little bit uh, different, fresh, now that this is, May and this is a January beer. Uh, not sure, but still, uh, I think it's worthy uh, of getting into the A category. And I'm gonna give it a 93, uh, A minus there, guys. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. They don't have this particular version listed, so I'm thinking that you know it was a new release in January, but 
My gosh, you would think somebody between January when it was rele released and, and here we are in May uh, that they somebody would have even listed it. And looking at Bear Advocate, the Sour Pipe Project, they've done the Blackberry Crumble, the Dragon Fruit Passion Fruit, the Fruity Mornings, the Orange Cream Pop, the Strawberry Pancake, uh, the Black and Blue, and now we have this one here, uh, which is their uh, Shave Ice uh, version, which is not listed here. So different a lot of different versions of the sour pipe projects and like I said this one is the Shea Weiss uh, and they have it at 4.12 which is also in their A- minus category but 975 people we're close to a thousand people and it's not even listed over there on the other side on Bear Advocate so mmm makes you think makes you wonder anyway if you've had the sour pipe project shaved ice which is what I have here let me know what you think. Uh, I enjoyed it. Very tasty. Greg, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it. I think we got one more from Greg. We'll do that tomorrow. Till then, let's go see what's in the fridge.